This is the last time I'm going to do it yourself Home Improvement Plus. This morning we want to demonstrate how to bleed air out of a hot water circuit that's part of a hot water boiler. This is a typical standard hot water boiler. From here up, they're just about all the same. Whoever makes them dependent on the complexity that you have in the house. This one had four heat circuits as well as a hot water circuit. The hot water circuit just merely merely just heats the domestic hot water for the house. Each of these others goes to a particular zone in the house for heating. Uh, from time to time after performing maintenance on a hot water boiler system, you wind up with air in one of the circuits. Okay, to, so we're going to demonstrate how to bleed that air out of the circuit. Actually, it's pretty easy. Um, during normal operation, the recirculator pump pumps water through this manifold up through the heating system and then back and returns it to the boiler for reheating again. So what we want to do is just pump water through this single circuit that we have an air bubble in. How do we know we have an air bubble in? It makes a noise such as the pipes bang, or, but more importantly, you don't get sufficient heat out of it. You may get a little heat, but you don't get full heat. To bleed the air out of the circuit, it's a matter of shutting off all of these other valves that return water back to the boiler and all the valves that send in water to the various circuits in the heating system. Okay, notice the valve for the circuit we wanted to bleed the air out of, we left open because we want the pump to pump water through that one only and it'll go up through the system and hopefully push the air bubble back through the return line. Okay. So on the return line, we have the return valve shut off so it doesn't go back to the boiler. So what we're going to do now is open this valve and these valves are usually all blue or all red or a mixture of both. We're going to open it and we're going to drain water out of this circuit as the circulator pushes it through the system. When we get to the point where the air bubble passes through, we'll hear a gurgling in the bucket indicating that the air has come through the system and water will become a steady stream without air in it. And that's just about all there is to it. Um, this is not a complex task. We have to do it from time to time after we get things cleaned in the boiler. And for most do-it-yourself home owners, accomplishing this task is, is, pretty, is pretty easy. That's all there is to it uh, for drain air out of a uh, heating circuit in a hot water boiler system. For more information on do-it-yourself home improvement projects, visit our website at do-it-yourself home improvement plus dot com